IMS includes the solutions helping companies improve their sustainability with carbon reduction and energy efficiency improvement. EcoWatch is our IoT solution for enterprise energy management, with edge devices such like power meters and flow meters. This tutorial video will lead you through familiarizing yourself with the software interface and operations of EcoWatch. On the landing page, users can log in the system after typing the account and the password. Users can also change the language by the language switch, including simple Chinese, traditional Chinese, and the English versions. In the home page, the system knowledge, language switch, and the personal setting buttons are at the upper right corner. When users want to change the account, password, or change the image on the landing page, they can use the functions there and click EcoWatch. In this software, the first column is the menu. Dashboards are categorized into six topics, including energy monitor, effect analysis, performance, energy benefits, auto recording, and online monitor. In basic settings, users can set up the inbound of data from each gateway and define energy type and energy use of data source. After data inbound is established, users can check the temporary connection by online monitor and review the historical data of each meter one after one. In auto recording, you can view real-time data in meter reading, view daily energy consumption in usage amount, and set up a report rule to send a report to specified email address. When data are well collected in the system, we want to analyze the data to do KPI settings, performance tracking, and strategy making. All the dashboards contain three elements, including site, time, and energy uses, to help users investigate where, when, and what kind of energy consumption happened. Energy monitoring that users view the power demand, supply status, and the cost of energy consumption. In consumption dashboard, users can view the energy consumption of different energy uses in select area. With cost analysis, users can compare the energy consumptions of different price periods by peak value analysis and the view time of use condition and the cost in the panels. Users can view the difference between the actual energy consumption and the target energy consumption by the demand dashboard. The area under the line means the consuming amount. So the target is achieved when the area under the blue line is smaller than the area under the red one. Item summary provides a comprehensive overview of energy consumption for various uses in the current year, allowing users to compare it with baseline and last year's consumptions. Energy intensity and energy unit intensity are displayed to enable users to assess production efficiency. By examining the energy consumption of different uses and identifying the top 10 machines that consume the most energy, users can pinpoint significant energy uses in specific areas. Effect analysis provides further analysis to investigate energy consumption. Energy overview that users compare historic energy consumption by year-on-year -year or month-on-month -month patterns. Users can select the time period and the time interval by switch panel. Energy saving percentage is also calculated and shown on the table below. In energy ranking, users can view different KPI performance and ranking of selected area. Users can also review different historic KPI value in comparison dashboard. In loss analysis, the difference between energy supply and energy consumption is calculated according to conservation of energy. It lets users know how much energy is lost in the process of energy use. Performance review shows energy consumption from different energy uses with the comparison of baseline consumption and analyze important EMPI such like energy unit intensity and energy efficiency improvement. Energy substructure 
reviews the energy consumption of different energy uses in order to find the significant energy uses. The unit comparison section presents a chart displaying various EMPI values such as energy intensity, energy unit intensity, and energy consumption per employee. Additionally, the table below provides a comparison and improvement overview on a daily basis. Users have the flexibility to select the EMPI type from the options available in the top right corner. And they can also choose the desired data comparison pattern and the time interval from the options provided in the top left corner. The Energy Benefits section showcases energy saving performance in various areas, including energy efficiency, achievement of energy saving targets, and highlight over consuming deaths in the chart. It provides statistics and displays the completion status of energy saving targets for each area, department, and the overall organization. Users can select the location for investigation in the second column. Improved measure allows users to view the applied actions which improved energy efficiency in different regions. This tutorial provides instruction on navigating the software interface and operations of EcoWatch. Thank you for your attention. If you have any further inquiries, please feel free to visit our official website for more information.